Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. The other day I was at my local Walmart and I saw this on the shelf for $49.99. It was actually marked wrong. They're usually $69 or $79. This is the LG X Power. Now I'm not worried about it being a phone. I wanted to get it as a portable emulation device. I have an iPhone that is not jailbroken, so I can't get any emulators on it. 4100 milliamp hour battery, 8-core MediaTek Helio P10 CPU at 1.8 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 5.3 inch IPS 720 display. Now this looks pretty cool for a little emulation device. The GPU is a Mali T860 MP2. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. I'm going to get it set up and we'll run some benchmarks in Android. Okay, so this is pretty much what it comes with. A decent micro USB cable, a 1.8 amp charger, and the phone itself. So this thing is huge compared to my iPhone SE. I actually moved to the SE a while ago because I broke an iPhone 6S Plus and an iPhone 6S. And this thing is enormous compared to that. The back does not come off. I was hoping it did. But there's a slot in the bottom for the SD card and a SIM card. Go ahead and boot this thing up. So the screen really isn't this dim. My camera is showing it really dim right now, but it's pretty bright for a 720 IPS display. It looks really crisp for being 720p. The setup process was super easy, just like any Android phone. I just signed in. So what I want to do now is go ahead and download a bunch of apps. Then I will test out Android. We're going to run Antutu, 3D Mark, Geekbench. And I might do a little bit of emulation testing in this video. I'm going to run the benchmarks and then capture the screen with a screen capture app. So here we are. I actually updated the phone. It is now running Android 6.0.1. I installed the Google Now launcher so I could do landscape mode. This is the LG X Power, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and I have a little bit left here. The CPU is a MediaTek Helio P10, the MT6755M 8-core CPU at 1.8 gigahertz. And it looks like it's performing pretty well. I do have a screen capture app going on, so that's why we're at 50% usage on the CPU. Twelve eighty by seven twenty IPS LCD display, five point three inches, an ARM Mali T eight sixty MP two. It does OpenGL three point one, one point one, two point zero, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and check out Antutu. So I ran this twice. It's a forty five thousand four hundred and forty. Really not that bad for a fifty dollar Android phone. I was actually expecting around the thirty thousand score. The CPU and the 3D is really good for the price. We're going to check it out against some other phones. So these are very expensive phones. You have to keep in mind that this was $50. So the iPhone 6 is at 80,000 and we'll go down. I have 45,000 on this thing. Looking pretty decent for the price here. Next up. I ran Geekbench. Now single core score isn't that great, neither is the multi-core score, but nonetheless we scored a 648 for a single core and 1526 for a multi-core score. Way faster than the Snapdragon 400 CPU. 3D Mark. So I had to skip over this because it took forever to launch with the screen capture going. Slingshot Extreme, 325, really low score. Ice Storm Unlimited, 9,093. I was actually expecting a 12 to 13,000 out of the Ice Storm Extreme. I guess I was wrong with that one. So I mainly purchased this so I could have a little bit of emulation on the go without building a portable Raspberry Pi. This is just so much easier. What I've done is I've installed a lot of stuff and I haven't tested much of it just yet, but I did test RetroArch with FBA and it runs flawlessly. I have a controller on the way now and hopefully it will be here later on today. 
that's what I wanted to really show you guys was the controller and this $50 phone. The controller was 23 bucks. The phone sits right inside of it and it's kind of switch like the new Nintendo switch got the controllers on the side. So in my next video, I will be showcasing this device using that controller and I'm going to show off a lot of games. We're going to do some emulation, some native Android games and stuff like that. But the way it's looking right now, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a decent time with this. And we may even be able to run some N64 and PSP games at full speed. Don't quote me on that yet until I test it, but I have a good feeling about this Helio P10. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe, I got a lot more coming. I'm going to leave links to Amazon so you could purchase one of these phones if you want to. If you have an iPhone like me, you probably want an extra Android phone laying around for emulation. Like always, thanks for watching.